In the Age of Chaos, two factions battled for dominance. The Kingdom of Azeroth was a prosperous one. The humans who dwelled there turned the land into a paradise. The Knights of Stormwind and the clerics of Norsha Abbey roamed far and wide, serving the King's people with honor and justice. The well-trained armies of the King maintained a lasting peace for many generations. Then came the Orcish Hordes. No one knew where these creatures came from, and none were prepared for the terror that they spawned. Their warriors wielded axe and spear with deadly proficiency, while others rode dark wolves as black as the moonless night. Unimagined were the destructive powers of their evil magics derived from the fires of the underworld. With an ingenious arsenal of weaponry and powerful magic, these two forces collide in a contest of cunning, intellect, and brute strength, with the victor claiming dominance over the whole of Azeroth. Welcome to the world of Warcraft. Yes indeed, welcome everybody to my playthrough of Warcraft, Orcs and Humans. So this was recently, I guess, re-released over on GOG. You can get this and like the second one for around about ten pounds, and the intro is playing again. Good. So yeah, you get them for about ten pounds on GOG. You can also get Diablo One for probably less than that. Uh, I played up quite a bit of Warcraft Three. I don't think I ever finished it, but I've never played these two, and they've sunk many of hour into World of Warcraft. Oh, we're getting some sort of demo. Sure. A taste of things to come, I guess. And with the uh, Warcraft, uh, I guess the original Warcraft, World of Warcraft coming back out, the, the hell are they calling it? My mind has gone blank. The vanilla servers, I can't remember what they call it now. Not really been keeping up to date. But with the vanilla servers coming out, with Warcraft back as it was when it first released, I thought it was time to maybe go back to the very beginning and see how it all began. So, with that said, let us begin. So, we're not going to be playing any network games or modem games, we're just going to be playing single player. So here's my question for everybody that may be watching this. I want to know in the comments, are you for the Horde? For the Horde! Or for the Alliance? So uh, let me know. Now as far as playing this, I think maybe we'll just start with the orc one because it's the top of the list. We'll play both obviously, but maybe we'll start with the orc one. Sure, let's go with that. For the horde! Okay, here we are in the game. So, from what we got from that intro, we've got to build six farms and a barracks. So, I'm not quite sure how this game plays or what exactly are we doing, what the controls are, but we'll be figuring it out as we go. That's a town hall. That is a farm. We've already got a farm. We've got a grunt who can either move, stop, or attack. Peon who can repair, harvest, lumber, mine gold. Stop, move, and build basic structure. It's another grunt. I guess they're our basic defense for now. We get this one peon. So I'm guessing if you look at the text at the bottom where it's highlighted yellow for the B, I guess that's a shortcut button we could use. But we'll use the mouse for now. So at the top we've got lumber, 400. Gold is 1,000. Then we've got the mini map top left. What's on the menu? It's your basic stuff. Save load options. I'm not actually looked at the options. What are the options? Sound volume and stuff. We'll keep it as it is. 
Okay, so we've got to build some farms. So what do we need for farms? Build a farm. Doesn't really state what I need, does it? Oh, it does. 300 and 500 gold. So 300 lumber, 500 gold. So, okay, I do have that. It already takes it down before I even built it. So, I guess we'll build it here. Try and keep it off the path. So I'm guessing we're going to have to send somebody out to cut wood. Can these guys cut, cut wood? I'm guessing probably not. Where's my peon gone? Oh, he's building still. Okay. I didn't know if it, like, spent the peon to build it. I'm guessing he'll come back once he's done faffing. So we can use a town hall to build more peons, or train more peons, or build roads. Sure, let's build a bit of a road down to this farm. Let's keep it looking nice and civilised. Okay, so right click to deselect. Good. So, repair, harvest lumber, mine gold. So I see there's some trees down here. So let's send him down there to dig. Can I send you? I don't think I'll have to click move first. I'll probably try and learn these shortcuts, so... M is a bit of a pain, but sure. M to move. Let's just keep him well guarded, shall we? I'll right click on the screen to kind of like center the camera there. And I can move the box on the mini-map to move around the map. I can also probably click here. Yeah. Standard stuff. So I wonder if you can speed things up, because like him getting lumber is going to take a while. Now I could use what grunts I have to explore the area, but I worry of them running into trouble. So he's going to take that lumber back to the town hall. So should we try and build some more peons? 400 gold for one. It's going to be all of our gold. Sure. We'll have to try and find a, a mine to send him then. So let's have a little look around then. Can I use the arrows? Yeah, I can. Beautiful. Use the arrows to look around the map. Well, then you. So normally in an, in an RTS like this, you have to. You could normally click somebody and then click on the map or right click on the map to move them. That doesn't work. You literally have to click move first. So let's just explore around the local area. Don't want to go too far. And get myself murdered. I'm trying to know where a mine is. It could be over here. Oh, the peon's done. Good. It's over here. Darbu. Exactly. Oh, we found a mine. Excellent. So this must be like a path to the mine then, maybe. Let's send him to the mine. This guy can be our woodcutter and he can be our miner. Sounds good to me. Why are they doing that then? Let's have a little wonder. I want to get the lay of the land around my area. Of our base. Is that another mine there? What's this? No, it's just stones. Oh, there is another path there, so I wonder where that goes. Keep moving, buddy. So this path keeps going. Oh, God knows where. Send this guy on a bit of an exploration. So we're on the far right of the map, so there's not going to be a great deal on this side. Let's see what's down here. Plenty of trees for that guy to cut. Keep forgetting I have to click move each time. Kind of annoying. Let's keep this guy in the centre of town in case things kick off. Send this guy up the map. The top right corner. And this guy can head back down, I think. See what's around these trees. Yeah, oh, more trees up here. Keep on going up. I realise if we aggro a bunch of alliance, 
be bad because we've only got these three guys, so. And I'm assuming they're on this map somewhere. What is this? Some horrible portal. So the intro also mentioned that we're in the Swamp of Sorrows, which is a place in World of Warcraft. I remember it well. It's not far from where Karazhan is. Dead Deadwind Pass, is that called? It's also an air. Siri no, not Searing Gorge. It's the one with the dark portal in it. Blasted Lands. So for anyone that's never played World of Warcraft, you probably don't know what I'm on about, but I will probably re be referring to World of Warcraft quite a bit. When things come up that are related, which will be quite often because it's a Warcraft game. So I already mentioned uh, Stormwind. Is obviously the main human city in World of Warcraft. And Northshire Abbey, which is the starting, I guess, area for the humans. It's like in the same area as Stormwind, really. It's in the Elwind Forest. Right, so that's the top of the map. I assume that's all just going to be trees up there. We've got some big, horrible swamp pool here. So we've got a bit of gold. Should we get some more peons? Just so we can farm more. There's more workers we've got, more width they can bring in. What are these farms doing? They grow nine, he use five. Seems each building has like a cost. Food wise, so you'll probably need to keep getting farms. How long does it take a peon to build? Not too long. Do we keep sending this guy down? I'm worried about running into something. I think my plan is I'm going to get another miner, which we've got now. Send you to the mine. Send you to pits. We'll build another one to do lumber. And then we'll build a final one to build things. You can build my farms and barracks. At least that's the plan. We'll see how well that goes. Okay, so we've started building the barracks, so hopefully we'll be able to build more grunts. Which we can then use to send out and fight the forces of the Alliance. Oh, I think we've just expended the mine. That's awkward. Guess we're gonna have to find another one then for these chaps. I guess while they're waiting, they can build some more farms. Zug zug. Right, let's go see if we can find another mine then. Let's send a few of you guys out. Just in case you want into some trouble. Go find me a mine. Just curious on which way to go and explore. Do we follow these paths, do we think? I don't know if they'll lead anywhere. Can I select more than one? normally in these kind of games you can make like a, a box you can draw around and select multiple units but I feel like this game may be a bit too old for that. Maybe Warcraft 2. Okay so we've got another farm. We need to build six right? Not enough lumber. Which brings up a good point. Why don't I get these guys cutting lumber? Why they're waiting for a mine to dig up. You too, buddy. No point in just standing there. Right, let's see where this path goes in. See if we can find another mine. They're going to have quite the walk to return the gold, though. They have to walk back to the town hall each time. Bit of a pain. Keep going, guys. I mean, we should probably just try and explore the map. I'm guessing this is another part of the pool. This is a big pool. Let's get it all uncovered. We're going to be rich in lumber in no time. Double. Oh shit, it's the Alliance. Fucking get him. Did I even take that guy? 
Nuke one down. Oh well, that's not good. Okay, we got one. Good. Go, buddy, go. Fuck that javelin guy up. He's an archer. Whatever. Got a crossbow, I guess. Yeah. He's on half health, and we lost one guy, but we took the two of theirs. That's a victory in my eyes. So the barracks is actually done. Good. We should probably build some more grunts, because we've just lost one. We only build the one, though, until we can find some more gold. So... Where's that orc gone? Has he just died? Which body's a witch? I'm confused. Is he my only grunt left? Where's that the guy gone? What happened? Sugar. That's probably not good, right? Oh, you're there. Ah, okay. I didn't realise I sent you back. That's fine. Good. It's not dead. I thought you died a horrible death, friend. So, in a group, we shall uh, continue on, on that path, I think. We may need to look into like different shortcuts, because maybe. Oops. Get up there, you. Must be an easier way of selecting multiple units. I'm not sure what that is. How's that lumber going? Not bad, not bad. We get this guy to build something. Another farm. We can't afford it. We need gold now. So there's some more mines around to do up then. I didn't waste it all on uh, peons. Keep going. What's up here? Oh, I see another mine. God, that's far away. Is this another mine or is it just a rock? Hard to tell what it is. It is another mine. Good. Better clear around the back though, make sure there's no filthy alliance. Okay, it looks pretty safe. It's going to be a way for them to come though, isn't it? So you, my friend, are heading up north. Go the trek. You, before you start digging. Being reassigned, friend. We need three more farms. Notice we don't really have an objective list on screen. So I guess we just have to remember what to do. Because that would be awkward otherwise. We've got them keeping guard. Have this guy just uncover this. Beautiful. Now just keep guard, I guess. Let's hope they don't attack the town, because there's nobody here to defend it. Maybe we should head kind of back down to keep some people by the town, at least one. We send him and his cannon fodder to explore since he's already half dead. And start at the top, I guess, and work our way around the sides. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Should do all the, the corner pieces first. Or the edge pieces first, I guess. Come on, keep going. I guess I could just click in the dark, right? Just worried about him running right into their camp. And if I do find them in here, it could end up causing them to come straight for me. Not sure how their AI works. Nothing yet. Keep going, buddy. Reveal this map.
more trees. And that's, it. that's as far as we can go. I guess we'll go down now then. See what's around the back. Probably nothing. Just more trees. Right, my little friend, down you go. Godspeed and all that. I fear you may need it. It's going to take a while for our gold to go back up, due to the, just the fact it takes them a long time to get back. Why are you going that way? Go on this side of the trees. You numbskull. Okay, maybe you were right in the first place. I stand corrected. I wonder where the Alliance camp is, if there is one on this map. Maybe it's just, you know, some rogue troops that are just roaming around. This is a big forest. Oh, this another mine. Could be the Alliance is mine, potentially. Depends if they have a camp, I don't know if they do. I mean, we were just told to build uh, the farms and the barracks. We didn't, they weren't, we weren't told anything about destroying the Alliance. I say the Alliance, I guess they're not really called the Alliance at this point. It's called the Filthy Humans. Anything interesting in here? Doesn't look like it. Keep on going down then. Meanwhile, back at camp. Let's have... How many peons do I have? I guess you're my builder. Don't even get of the farm built, shall we? I feel like I need more people on gold at this point than I do lumber. So maybe let's send them up there. I think we have enough lumber. We are literally deforesting this place. Oh, the night elves would be so proud. Deforesting all their well, forests. Okay, so he's reached the bottom again. This as far as he can, by the looks of it. Oh, what have I just done? I've just clicked the P on to go do something, I think. Didn't mean to do that. Can you not get down there, friend? What's blocking your way? Block tar. Keep going. Big forest. Really big forest, Jesus. Maybe we can't actually get down there then. What is around here? This guy's been my little scout, hasn't he? Can we get in this way? Or will we just be blocked? Yep, yes we will. Okay, well, I guess this is all forest. Unless there's something in the middle of it, but I don't know why there would be. So let's have him now go to this far right corner, and then back up to camp. And then it's just the middle we need to explore. Right, this guy's built a farm, so let's get another one done. Do I need to build road? We have to build road. I build road go through the town hall. Is that enough, mister? Yep, we have to have paths. There's only one more and we should be done. Oh, another mine. It's arguably, arguably closer. Oh, shit. Run, buddy. 
Right, go for it. Get as much damage as off as you can. And we'll send down the reinforcements. Why is this guy just stuck there? You. Group up. We've got some filthy humans and they've killed our scout. He served us so well to get hard straight in the face. <laughs> okay, can we build another farm? We're being attacked. That's not very fucking kosher, is it? What a douche. Go get him, buddy. Back up's on his way. There we go, hacks to the face. Well, since you are now the most injured one, you have been promoted to scout. Finish exploring what your friend began. And you get building me another farm. Which we will put... I guess... yeah. Gotta put one up here, I guess, but keep him on this path. Will this end the level when we do this? I don't know. I wonder if there's any more filthy alliance. Someone's in, someone is deciding to rev a motorbike outside, which is annoying. Anything down here of interest? Keep going, buddy. I think you're going to hit forest, though. Yep. You are victorious! Let's save. Empty slot one. Beautiful. If only these worthless humans could fight as well as they die. Well said. So there we go. Level one complete. And our outcome is victory. And our rank is Slasher. We scored 997. I don't know how that ranks in the list of ranks, but Slasher sounds good to me. I guess if we had lost less guys, we would have got better. Enemy units destroyed. You, three. So we lost three guys, they lost two. Units trained, eight, nine. And the enemy, eight. Did we, we didn't kill them all then. I guess there was a fair few still on the map. Structures destroyed, zero. Enemies just, enemies were zero. Structures built, me, eight. So they didn't have a base or anything. So they didn't build nothing. We mined 5,100 gold. Lumber harvest, 3,500. I thought it would have been more lumber. Because we were no, deforested in that bloody woodland area, weren't we? But anyway, there we go. That's the first level done. And I will see you for the next one we'll do next time so let me go in the comments are you for the horde or for the alliance goodbye for now